Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Lane, the one and only master propaganda here of like defender of the fatherland. We're off here to a 1v1 on, you guess it is, Twin Beaches in the north, it is Alpenville. Fun here for the Deutsches Afrika Corps with a bit of a challenge support from a nearby Vesieri Regiment. Setting out with the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division. We got bikes and Bessieri in the south. It is a lot too for fighting for freedom, democracy, and uh, liberty. Setting off here with the United States 45th Infantry Division, tasked with dealing with the advancing Germans. So, obviously, we've got combined arms here from Alpha right off the bat. Like two fears, got airborne, armored, and special operations. The classics, if you will. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters. For the continued and general support of the propaganda cast. Always, you know, helps out immensely there. And that's what you make all these videos. And a big thanks for commenting and liking. Also helps out immensely. So, heavy fighting here. Engineers already rushing for the fuel here on the hill. But German and Italian forces already claim. We got Alvin here with a double bike start. Spicy. Definitely not your typical DAC opening. Obviously, a lot of mobility, a lot of capture power, even a bit of firepower, but it's not exactly durable. Like, one mistake in Alpha is going to be losing a lot of units very fast, so... Fairly risky, too. Fairly risky, but nonetheless interesting. So, we'll have to call Solo to react. He's got a second last one, where's the first one has arrived. A bike's racing south for T. Swift Schnell go over there under the Germans. Of course, bikes would be a larger part of German or Panzer divisions and mechanized units in the start of the war, but sort of, you know, shortly after, they did kind of sort of drop out on them as the bike units were not quite working out. They still see some service units as various minor roles, but the entire idea of, like, you know, entire regiments, mountain motorbikes kind of went a bit south. Service, though, uh, would make use of it. They didn't tow well, mortars on the bikes. And more fun fact, they'd actually rely on Harley Davidson bikes, amongst other types of bikes from the Americans. Bet you didn't. Expect, you know, communists and Harley Davidson, eh? Anyway, Stahl Bikes was the scouts, rubbing the part up with heavy machine guns, rifle moving in here. Doing a lot of damage, rifle they're doing in and dealing even more damage to the bikes aren't careful. But still, it does mess with the social income. He has managed to see some northern fuel pump from the Germans. We can see some mines here. Thumbs up to him. We got more Bessie area out there. So, in some ways, Alphamel is mostly going for more conventional combined arms opening as attack. With the exception, he actually went for two bikes rather than one. Now, the Rascal there, Philip Tooth, as he's obviously trying to deal with this, you know, very motorized onrush there from the German army. Got the GS telling down here, fight over the M1 Garands and the Thompson against those advancing troops. Bike there flanking from the other side. Putting the pressure on the Tooth, who's got his further up squad ready. Seizing the northern munitions, which cause alarms later on our mines, chuck grenades, use abilities, whatnot. Meanwhile, though, Alpha Mini is about to gain control of these southern few points fully, which is obviously going to be a big advantage. MG 34 from Alpenwell is almost also going to be like be able to like gain a lot of the victory points. Ralph would have closed the look, being wiped out here. The two from his retreat there, and a bit surprised they'd do that a bit sooner. And we got here vehicle support. Interesting choice there. And up north here. Panzer Pioneers spotting some rifle. We got the infantry support in there for Latouf. Fairly conventional choice there. MG 34 and crew standing by. Got the MG 34 ready here. Maschinengewehr 34. Territory is now in enemy hands. Scouts are withdrawing. In the face of countless Italians. And then go right from spot here, the new foot on the Panzer Pioneer, managing to get into heavy cover for the new foot can suppress them. Good response there by Light Tough. Fight them moving in, and we do see a lot of firepower. I do don't think this is a great move to charge in like that, but in this case, it does force Light Tough to withdraw, but they will not exactly deal. Buzz the air flanking, mines exploding there, causing Mario there to explode. Captain on the way there for Light up north, the engineers versus the bike here. Bike quick withdrawing, you almost got the munitions point. South side of two falls making steady progress now versus the Germans again, but we got out from here moving towards that northern fuel point. Bikes are sending upon the engineers here like a pair of wolves with wheels and machine guns. Victory point under enemy control. 
And we got the motor pool here, flood two flightly greyhounds, maybe some chaffies for pressure on the Germans. We got the flag fin here for the female, so that could very well be a chaffy. No battle could be at flood two, but I would not be surprised to see armored or it could be airborne here. Even could be spare cops, but we'll see. He's creeping about there, south side. Got the American Bank City Progress. We do have the MD 54 here, so they got in a bit of an overwatch position against any advancing Americans. Got the Italians rushing southwards. Flak feeling half tag almost done. Uh, bit of quiet, but there you go. And you need to see Going for deeper flank here, let's close home to do something, but instead he just finds the bikes still waning there very patiently. And that does force the news to withdraw. They could even try and hunt down here. Moving up here, we got the flag flame mate straight down the middle of the road here, pushing for the cutoff point here. Catching La Tooth a fair bit off guard here. And now we got the flag flame moving in here. La Tooth will need something to deal with both the infantry and the flag feeling here fast. He may have to just go for the Greyhound event plan Chaffees. But he's still making progress elsewhere. Anti tank is for tough. That's obviously also an option. MD 34 Mimo proved to be a problem there for the troops other infantry. So, really strong push about from him. Throws a big range into Lucas's plans. And we got here armored with veteran crews and fast deploy. Not too much of a surprise in the end. Moving trainer for the victory upon the fuel point. Flat feeling half to the rushing forwards. Ready to blast some Americanon with that flak feeling them out in the back and there you go right from force withdraw. Greyhound there for the tooth. Of course with faster fire you can get up pretty fast. Hunting is ready. Obviously Alpamil is doing this because he is anticipating a light vehicle counter to both, you know, at least his flak feeling but probably also his infantry. So having the Hunting out now is going to be very, very good for unsurprising reasons. We've got the Bezier pursuing and probably taking out the scouts here. Flak feeling towards the main road, probably to link up here with the 250 there. Greyhound engaging it, but we've got the Pantex moving in here. Anderson gets a great shot to here, and we might, yeah, he's going to lose the flak feeling. Oh no, he has research smoke. Oh, nice save there by Alpenwell. Very early smoke here, not a bad idea. Thumbs up. Denying here, Latouf, a clean chance of taking out that flak feeling half track. Really close call there. A bit of RNG could have made a good work out, and there you go. Going for the 250 half track here. And smoke deployed there as well. There's the area descending upon the cutoff point. We'll need the ground to deal with that. You can see that the two is once more be on the back foot against the German Italian force here. Rasko pushed off the cutoff point. Greyhound are dealing with them. You can also see he's got a lot of damaged infantry. He will need some healing soon, I think, to really make sure he doesn't bleed out brutally. Black feeling back here for need repairs. So There's the 250 half time. We've got the Panzergers moving four vets. There you go, the tooth with the infirmary up on the way. The Germans would by him mount anti-aircraft guns and variety of light vehicles, half takes for the more common one, but also the old blitz. You see the two centimeter flak 30, the flak 38, and of course the flak feeling, but there'd also be ones with the 30 millimeter, 37 millimeter flak guns as well there. So, little fun fact, they even mounted some occasion on cars. We have lost control of a victory point. Two centimeter flak 30s so that is. And they'd also like, for example, you know, mount them captured vehicles like the Bren Carrier. They're actually in Normandy, I think, some formations with Flak 30s mounted on them. Fun facts as well. Mortar for the tooth. Absolutely good selection. There is the infantry and support weapons here under Alpenbelt's command. A tooth that is quite able to bounce back here. And there you go. Bike patrol on the move again. He's going to descend upon the southern units here. Surprised the bank team managed to last as long, to be honest. But... Up north here, Bezier counter attacking. Got the motor linking up here now. Greyhound almost taking out the captain there. Mortar find the MD 34. Got Panzer, you can see we got a fact, the second squad of Panzer out here for Alpenbell plus the flak feeling now moving down the middle here. Mortar there, forcing the MD 34 out the premises. Bikes around the southern points here. Alpenbell really just getting a lot of value out of these bikes so far. Certainly, I imagine frustrating that tooth ever just a bit. Got the fuel point there, Graham moving in. We got the Panzer Mate Commander there, Fun We also got Force Recon. There you go, bikes being spotted there. 
Greyhound and Entertainment so far missing. Very fortunate for Open Bell. Less so for Latouf. Panzer X moving back there with a Panzer Buxer and another Entertainment for Latouf. Obviously doing this because he's heavily anticipating that Open Bell will, you know, rush him lightly with Panzer Thieves soon enough or some kind of series of Italian tanks. So, and concerning because in the circumstances, see, there's a very good concern to have. Great shot in the flak feeling half take here. Panzer Me Commando almost done for Alphamel. Almost. Enter tank is moving up. And, and the other one is almost done. Still moving forwards. Got the Indy Foot up to cover the victory point in the east and the fuel point. Of course, we have the mortar nearby to provide excellent artillery support there. Panzer X moving in. We got that, of course, the bikes as well there. Laying down some pretty intimidating fire up against Raft Corp. Multify the landing in the machine crew. Grand flanking in. <laughs> and flak fin here proved to be an issue. We got there we go. Panzer fees for Alpenbell. Thumbs up. The Panzer Kampfwagen 3 Ausführung L. Bring up the empty and take out the flak feeling, or at least attempt to do so. They push here and close to the two space even there. Got Alpha Mel moving about his best here, grabbing points. They're pretty cheeky. Black feeling survives it, courtesy of that uh, series of upgrades there. And there you go, Panzer Kampfwagen there, ready to support Alpha Mel. I'm going for the cutoff point. The engineers laying down mines and the fuel points grabs, and there you go, best area getting flanked. Keeping at least one in Sanger nearby just in case. And we got the Panzer advancing there with the Panzer Buxer and the rifles. We have been cut off. And we got BARs there for Latouf, an excellent upgrade. Obviously, now the bikes want to pushing forward. But there you go, anti tank near under Tuf's command. These pushes one off here, but there's still the other one. Gray in there being slightly engaged as well here. Almost got the Bezier, but. Fortune here for Alpha Mel, the flag filling across the cap. Maybe forget that. And now we got the Panzer Three barging in here like a drunkard at the bar after closing hour. Panzer is dashing in as well here. But Tuf is definitely feeling the heat here. And I do think he needs to like, just deal with these bikes with this Greyhound. Like, if Latuf could do that, I think that would relieve a lot of pressure off his shoulders. We'll have to see what he does. More to find the info there. Go flag feeling dashing in too far. They're getting hit by the anti-tank on the ground. We could see it finally go down here. And he gets it! Alphamel, they all played his hand. And the two flip destroy it there. No smoke there. Maybe it was a cool down. Southern points forgotten. We got there. Raf calling a few victory pony. Engaged for the Panda 3. With another one away there for Alpenbell. And the 15th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. Back at the base. We're not seeing much else here. Panzer Feeders hunting down the retreating raft. We got another raft called Flatuf. Not much further out of his battle group, by the way. We definitely, I think, uh, consider making some decisions there in the near future. Also, Avamel has a massive munitions float. Might be planning to use it for some battle group abilities, but I mean, he could also just lay down a lot of mines. That would also be excellent here for Avamel. Victory points wise, though, Avamel has a good lead over Latuf. With 444 versus 297, that's a bit of a difference. Second Panzer Fee Mimons arrived here to support Alpenbell here and the 15th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. <laughs> Rifleman advancing, Rifleman busy up here by the fuel point. That definitely gives Alphamon there a bit of an armored fist, and of course, like Tuf in comparison, it lacks that. Again, just Alphamon's fuel control due to the double bikes has been excellent, and really makes it difficult for the Tuf to like really gain any significant fuel advantage versus his opponent. That definitely is making things a lot tougher here for our American friend. Got the Red Devil there tossed against Robin there, quick to dodge it. Panzer is advancing the fuel point there. Machine there in trouble. And we got the advanced logistics, very good, of course. I mean, with four riflemen and all the other stuff, having some cheap reinforcements is excellent. Almost have the MD4 crew here. Oh dear, Latouf is actually advancing at four. Alpen moving forwards. Is it intentional? Is it a mistake? Who knows? 
Whoa, yeah, that was... I think he realized his mistake, then withdrew it. Also laying down some mines. It could have been... Actually, some mines early would have been a good idea to maybe deal with the bikes that way. But press. Up north here, fresh fighting for the Northern Victory. Pommy got the Rifleman in. The Bessier versus Bada Rifleman. Definitely not a winning engagement there for Alphenbella. It is a winning engagement for Latour's infantry. Like, Bessier really, like, if one does, like, fight Rifleman, they really need, like, the Braiders and you need the veteran scroll leaders. And without those, they definitely have, like, a bit of a short uh, shelf life there against the American Bar Rifleman. Forcing Advent, of course, to have to learn other measures, like, for example, the Panda 3 and the now burning flag feeling. Meanwhile, a two fear with advanced J6 figures, you know what? He can go for, you know, five Ravnies, does so. Which honestly isn't, again, entirely wrong assumption. That's obviously going to be a big search in infantry firepower here. There's his Alpha Mel. I'm going to punch him further for not necessarily having a lot of infantry of his own. There you go, big push here. Anti tank gun slamming into the Panda 3 here. Side armor. Giving way there is 57mm armor pigeon shells there, punch for it. Got the bikes hanging back here. And he's got his 250 half track, but he's not really doing a lot with it. It's just being used as an ambulance, basically. Enter tanks to pursue the Panzer threes here, and more to going at it. We got air bridge shells now available here for a tooth. Mima fighting on the victory point. He got the Latouf now bleeding out Alpenwell. And until he called in by the captain. You might be wondering why do most people go for the artillery? Because, well, it's free artillery. There's typically a lot more utility to it. And even like your opponent dodges it, you still force him to like, have to dodge it in the first place. So it can be kind of handy that way. And it's not because the mark target ability is bad, but you know, it's a bit more limited in scope. In that way. Since it only works in your vehicles and tanks and not so much infantry. Got survival trench with a tooth. Really going hard in the infantry for sure. And we got another Panzer V there for Alpenwell. Another Panzer Kampfwagen 3, meine Herren. Going for the right one here. Swinging hard there for the fatherland, guns and machine guns just blazing down, firepower in copious amounts against Ripen, bikes rushing in there. Crowds coming up, almost taking out one hit of Alphamil's bikes finally. Pa third Panda 3 is almost done here, anti tanks being brought up here alongside the Grand Tron Hawk, then the Panzer advance under Alphamil here, as Oberleutnant and Maya charges forward for this fast line. But there you go, American anti tank guns are ready to meet this Germanic threat. Head on from a distance. And we got the third Panther be ready here for Alphamel. Giving him certainly a significant tank advantage. The Tooth, meanwhile, still really hasn't done much with this battle group. And alphamel has got the strafing runs. He's likely going to go for the artillery call in there. Which does make a lot of sense, but he's flooding an immense amount of munitions. Like, he has been laying down a bunch of mines here, if anything. But that was there being chucked. Got the Latouf dodging it quite nicely. Pour it on them, they're being employed. We got grenades, Latouf. Thumbs up. But continuing German reinforcements here to the area pretty much forces Latouf to have to give up that battle and withdraw. An MD 34 back in action. Mortar, of course, can't assist here. Grenades almost done being used there for Latouf. Still not much in the battle group. Still not much. Okay, there we go. We got Scots actually guessing ECH as well then, but rare sight of the Scot most players nowadays prefer Seek and Destroy because it is quite frankly incredibly powerful. Doing can die find it with the fact again is you can just protect. typically with War Machine get out a lot of, you know, vehicles or tanks. You combine it with that, it's like really, really, really good. It's not because the Scot itself is bad, it's just again seeing it destroy is infinitely better. Under most circumstances. Meanwhile, triple anti is there for Latouf. So an indicator he's probably not thinking he's going to be getting out any tanks anytime soon. And he will need more anti-tank firepower. Meanwhile, Alphamo just keeps going for more panzers. 
pro believer in Panzer III supremacy, clearly. Although by 1943 the Panzer Threes were steadily being phased out, as production of the Panzer III chassis would be shifted towards the Stug Threes, and the ones that were left were probably being, I believe, were shifted off to show, say, well, the Italian front, but was just, you know, less important armored units. And even some Panzer Threes would be converted over to Stug Threes as well. A little fun fact there. Fourth Panzer III ready here for the Grenades there going off for the Americans. Dodge it. We got those Panzer is definitely a bit of a tough spot here. Mortify ring down death. No airburst shells yet here for the tough. Bit surprised to that. Very powerful and obviously very po popular ability there. I mean, it's pretty much like one of the prime reasons you go for the American mortar. The Americans, it's not just because, hey, you got a mortar, it's you got the best mortar with the best mortar ability, period. Up north here, we got Rafa and the Captain encountering some resistance here from the Germans. We got the bikes again here. We might see one of the bikes finally go down. Yes, after 20 minutes, Latouf is able to pop one of those bikes like a filthy pimple. Meanwhile, Pantheon's dying forwards in the center. We got mines exploding grenades here. Anti tanks blast away. Greyhounds going at it. Colin Tillin, there you go. Pantheon down to a mine. Pushing forwards. We got it. There we go. Artillery cover there. Clearing out one of the two anti tank crews. They have a triple anti tank and that way they're set up. It actually becomes a bit harder from TC Swarm. And there it goes. Strafing run called in. Big Panzer Blitz out of Alphamil and the German army. Striking at the anti tank crews. The overwhelming left tooth. Anti tank crews screaming forward. It's hand for support. As the Panda Thieves and all the other German supporting elements completely rip them apart. The anti tank grenades off. There you go. Blowing out the engine. Another grenade off here. Panda Thieves down. We see now that Alphamil is down just two Panda Thieves, but crucially, Le Tooth has nine to tank guns. He's got these hit calling lined up there. He's going to go for that as soon as he can. Yep, there we go. And a bit of autumn seems seen there, but certainly highlights, you know, the situation. That Latouf is in here versus his opponent. He's under so much pressure and his economy is being so much harassed that, you know, he can't really afford to, like, you know, go for the neat and more long term cost efficient option. He just needs an EC8 now to engage those Panzer Fleas with. He needs Brad Pitt. And of course, the Germans like, oh, Scheiße, it's Brad Pitt again? Can't see US economy afford that. It's American. It doesn't matter if they can afford it, they'll afford it somehow. That's the only thing to can't afford a penalty is healthcare, but that's another story. Panzer is moving in there. And there you go, Panther is swarming in the spot of the Panzer Jagger's here. Shots bouncing off there. Like rocks. But the Panther Thieves keep up the assault here. And there we go, we got eight trip rounds acting a rare side here. Two thumbs up, slow tough. Grenades off these, snaring up the Panther Thieves engine. Panzer is pushed off, need to fix up the DC8 and. Rapidly in the south here, Panzer of Bersaglieri in deep trouble, he's being withdrawn to repair. Anti-tank recruit is going to try and hunt down that Panther 3. This could get a bit expensive if I'm He's also got a fresh Panther 3 out there. Proximity alarm. What the hectic fight here, there goes smoke deployed. There we go. Wombo combo. And that Panther 3 is down. Almost had it there. EC8, you need to repair his spaceship with everything else. He can't order his engineers there. He's forgetting to order the engineers to do that. Need to get the other engineers squad down there as well. Anti tank in trouble here. Low on health, low on numbers. But not low on Germans. Trying to take it out. And there you go. Wrecked. The troops anti tank and no anti tank. It's right squad accidentally on the EC8. I'm assuming it's accidentally. Or might be. maybe he's planning something. Who knows? Never say never, I suppose. You could, of course, try and go for the recovery vehicle. I mean, that alarm to A, fix up is easy at fast, but be able to recover some of those Panzer Thieves. That could be a nice addition here versus Alphenbell, but whether or not Latouf will go for the course is another matter. I mean, most Americans, of course, are not exactly big on recycling, so they do it during the Second World War. Right from those advancing Panzer Jaegers. Twenty eighty six was twenty eighty eight. Getting close in terms of victory points. Getting close. Fixing up those Panzer Thieves, Panzer Pioneer. They are harder to work. Doing the work. The D. 
Sans Santi, La Tuf Swift moving forwards here. And he does he continues to enjoy a significant entry advantage here versus Alphamel. So losing all these Panther 3s the really has hurt Alphamel in that sense because his infantry just can't compete versus all of the two's riflemen now. North here, Bezieri in a lot of deep past the source there. Another Panther 3 for Alphamel. Another Panzerkampf Wagen 3. Germany's here, good to go again. Brad Pitt's tank has been fixed up. Just withdraws in the face of the advancing Panda 3s. Might see a wipe here, though, need to get the easy to deal with that. Just trying to buy some time for Ragnar retreating. Triple campy out of Latuf against Alpenmel. Thumbs up. Ram has the Panzer Thieves that they send there. And there you go, he's keeping it back up with the Grand Engagement here. The Panzer is out in the open. Friedrich there immediately goes down, slaughtered here. Here we see, of course, Osborne, I think, kind of getting punished for not laying down a lot of mines when he could have. I mean, he's still got, like, an immense amount of munitions, despite, you know, strafing rounds and artillery covers being used in short succession. He's just, he needs to use his munitions more, basically. North Heat should be enforcing, can heal once that thing gets, you know, cooled down going. There we go, we got fuel repairs and we got war machines. So no recovery here out of Ala Tuf, like you're saying up from Moisey 8. Oh, and he's caught here repairing the tank and the assaults are horrific as they just get splattered across the side. They're like a fresh coat of very, very red paint. And there we go, now the Sherman Easy Eat out here, cause all running them too for the more units to repair his tanks. As long as, of course, he doesn't get them turned into, like, you know, paint again. A bit of quiet here, we got it too. Oh, I'll put all this pants of these close to the front line. A bit risky in some respects here. A bit risky. The got these heat the fixed enemy. up there. And there you go, Panzer is being flanked around. If we get 224, 273. Well, Alpha has managed to stop the beat for now. You see, it should be good to go. Right, close to scoring a wipe there. You see, it's in the move. Rolling ahead here. Of course, a good push with the 8 rounds could become rather than comfortable here for Alpha Mel's Panzer 3s. Meanwhile, up north here, Captain Rado the Bessieri. Continue to advance here. Still no mines out of Alpenwell. I imagine his Panzer Panniers might not be a bit busy with other stuff. Right from meeting the Panzer Fee, see the results are horrific as the guns of Deutschland. Well, fire away then in the south. Atlatus' advance continues his steadily spreading out of democracy. Panzerfeet's moving on, we got artillery cover here, I think that could have been slightly picked up better, but there you go, flanking the EC8 here. One shot still managed to bounce as it hits the frontal armor, and the Panzerfeet's are quick to disengage here with the armored fist of freedom under Latuf's command. Might not be the biggest armored fist, but it hits like a freight train filled with bricks. Meanwhile, of course, Alphamel will need to repair his Panzer Thieves as they did take a lot of damage from those two ECHs without really dealing much in a turn. Season the southern side here, we got 216 and 260. But Tuf continues to build an advantage there over Alpenwell. Picking up those Panzer Thieves. We've done what we can. Half squad, they're apparently doing the boogie woogie. South and Unis creeping forwards with mine sweepers at the ready. Of course, the tooth would still benefit, I think, a fair bit from laying down mines of his own. I mean, he's got a thing in his squad, so not really much of an excuse not to lay down mines at this point. It's not like he's short munitions either, so. But anyways, he says engaging. MD-34 team up for to help deal with all the infantry. He's not as reliant on the easy to do that, and of course the Greyhound. Have captured a victory point. More to run it. Our 
Northern victory point falling to freedom once more. Getting those pendant leaves ready. Setting out. There you go, getting the wrap. And Bessier though getting mauled here in the southeast. He's going forward here. MD34 in trouble there, but the Panzer is also a bit of a hot zone here. Engaging the DC8. Raffin charging forward to the machine gun. Triple cap again here. Raffin in trouble. And she's going to begin wiped out here by Hell on Assault. EC8s are decimating the Panzer. We've got to look how cool in here. Forcing a full retreat here out of La Turf. Catching the rifle in the retreat here as the artillery was firing off the EC8, where they've been previously planned to flee flank in here. Bold move out of Altenveld, but I guess it's do or Deutschland at this point. And there we go. EC8 down here, swarming the other one now. We got a set shot to attempt it. Bold move here, could pop the veterans one of those, maybe to increase the rate of fire against the EC8s. There you go, eight foot rounds pop, increasing the damage, but a bit late here, full of turf. We could see the second EC go down any moment now. Got the Panda Fee. But it won't be able to save the EC8, and there you go. Both American Sherman tanks have been left burning on the beaches. He's going for Chaffees now. Rushing them out in a desperate bid here. We've got 130, 260. Machine gun wiped out here, looking pretty tough for Alpha despite, you know, all the cash inflicted. There you go, GG out of Alpha Brutal fight there, but yeah, I think part of the issue is just again, like, just like Turf had so much infantry in comparison. Alpenbell just had some unupgraded best year without really much going on there, and that he definitely did something like other assault grenadiers or maybe some regular Wehrmacht punch or Dak Panzer grenadiers, but something I think was necessary there. Plus, the way he called in a I think was a bit inefficient, and there was just the lack of mines. But you know, an interesting fight nonetheless. So, if you enjoyed it, hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment. This is Imperial Links in Cheers. Until tomorrow for another episode. Bye everyone.